Oh, hi, friends. First of all, let me say that all of us here at the North Carolina Family Policy Council pray that you and your families are doing well. Clearly, the coronavirus pandemic has altered life as we know it in immeasurable ways. We are grateful that in the midst of all of this, we serve a God who is sovereign over all the affairs of man and who cares intimately and deeply about each and every one of us. Despite the challenges we face, this is a real opportunity for the body of Christ to shine and for us to make a positive difference in people's lives and in the world around us. While we are following the governor's stay-at-home order, I want to let you know that your NC Family staff is working hard. We have launched a resource page on our website at ncfamily.org with links to some of the best resources we have found for parents, students, children, and pastors and churches. We will continue to add to this resource page in the coming days and invite you to let us know of resources you have found to be particularly helpful. You can do this via the Contact Us page on our website. Additionally, as you may have seen, we sent out an email alert last week asking people to contact Governor Roy Cooper to urge him to include abortion clinics in his ban on all elective surgeries and non-urgent medical procedures in North Carolina. As I commented at the time, it is unconscionable that the governor and our state health leaders would on one hand prohibit non-essential medical procedures in an effort to protect people from the spread of COVID-19 and to lessen the strain on the medical community and on medical resources, but at the same time create a special carve out for the abortion industry. This is just like Nancy Pelosi attempting to include massive abortion funding in the federal coronavirus relief bill. Fortunately, that effort in Congress failed, but it demonstrates just how important it is for us to remain vigilant at all times, especially during a crisis like this. And speaking of the Federal Coronavirus Aid, Relief, and Economic Security Act, or the CARES Act, we will be publishing information soon to help small businesses, including nonprofits and churches, better understand this important economic relief package and how to take advantage of it if they so choose. So keep your eyes open for that. As always, we wanna thank you for your support and partnership. If it's feasible for you to make a special donation to support our efforts at this time, we would be most grateful. You can do so by visiting our website at ncfamily.org and clicking on the Donate Now button at the top of the page. Your gift will go a long way toward helping us to stay fully engaged during this critical period. All of our best to you and your family. Stay safe and stay healthy, and God bless you.